This is lesson 1.4, Angle Measure. The objectives are to measure and classify angles and identify and use congruent angles in the bisector of an angle. If two non-collinear rays have a common endpoint, they form an angle, just like angle A. The rays are the sides of the angle, and the common endpoint is the vertex. This angle can be named angle A, angle BAC, angle CAB, or angle 1. Notice when three letters are used, the vertex is the middle letter. A right angle is an angle whose measure is 90. An acute angle has a measure less than 90. It's a cute little angle. It's less than 90. That's how you remember. An obtuse angle has a measure greater than 90, but less than 180. It's obtuse. It's obnoxious. It's greater than 90. That's how you remember. Refer to the figure at the right. Name the vertex of angle 4. Well, there's angle 4, and the vertex is point B. Number 2. Name the sides of angle BDC. Well, angle BDC has sides that are rays DB. and ray DC. Remember to put the vertex for the first point in a ray. Number three, write another name for angle DBC. Well, there's angle DBC with B as the vertex. You could call it angle CBD, writing it in reverse order, or you could call it angle 3. Those are two other names for angle DBC. Classify each angle as right, acute, or obtuse. Then use a protractor to measure the angle to the nearest degree. Number 4. The measure of angle MPR. Angle MPR is obviously bigger than 90 degrees, so it's obtuse. If we took a protractor to measure it, the measure of angle MPR is 120 degrees. Number 5, angle RPN. Angle RPN is right there. Notice the right angle box that's drawn for you, so you know that it's a right angle. It's exactly 90 degrees. And if you took a protractor to measure, it would be the same as well. The measure of angle RPN is equal to 90. Notice also, when you're doing the measure of an angle, an M for measure, angle for the angle, and then name the angle. 6. Angle NPS. Angle NPS is right there. That is definitely smaller than 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle. If you measured it with a protractor, the measure of angle NPS is 45 degrees. So remember, less than 90 is acute. It's a cute little angle. Greater than 90 is obtuse. It's an obnoxious angle. Angles that have the same measure are congruent angles. A ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles is called an angle bisector. It cuts the angle in half. In the figure, ray PN is the angle bisector of angle MPR. Point N lies on the interior 
of angle MPR and angle MPN is congruent to angle NPR. Notice the arcs that were drawn to show you that those two angles are congruent. In the figure, ray QP and ray QR are opposite rays, so they form a line. Ray QS bisects angle PQT, so it cuts it in half. Number one, if the measure of angle PQT equals 60 and the measure of angle PQS equals 4x plus 14, find the value of x. Well, the whole angle is 60, but it's cut in half. So each of these halves equals 30 degrees, which means that 4x plus 14 equals 30 degrees. Subtract 14 from each side. 4x is 16. Divide by 4, and x equals 4. Number 2. If the measure of angle PQS equals 3x plus 13, and the measure of angle SQT equals 6x minus 2, find the measure of angle PQT. Well, we know that those two angles are congruent because ray QS is a bisector. So we can make an equation, 3x plus 13 equals 6x minus 2, and we'll solve for x. Subtract 3x and 13 equals 3x minus 2. Add 2 and 15 equals 3x. Divide by 3 and x is 5. But that's not the answer we wanted. We want the measure of angle PQT, which is these two angles put together. So we'll substitute a 5 in for x and add those angles up. So the measure of angle PQT equals 3 times 5 plus 13 plus 6 times 5 minus 2. That gives you 56. So the measure of angle PQT is 56. Always answer the question they ask you. We didn't just want x. We needed the measure of angle PQT, so take it one step further.